In this video, we're going to have a look at how SXA 1.8 provides us with the capability to create or overlay components within our other component or how to add components within the rendering bay. Let's get started. So this component is the highlights component. It has like a title and subtitle as well as a search box and a background image. Let's see how we create this using SXA 1.8. So I'll go to my content editor, as always, just to create a new, uh, I'll create a new component. So I'll go to the promo and clone it. So let's go to the promo here. I'll right click on it scripts and clone rendering of course i've created the actual module previously uh, before we start this video once i've created this new promo the next step is to actually go to my template so here i'll have my highlights template so i have it within features and then content components I have the highlights and then I'll just add my required fields. So I've added here highlights, caption text, background image, promo link, title, subtitle, and promo item. So these are the main components or the main fields I want to have within my highlights. The next thing, which is the really cool part that we need to work on is actually creating the rendering variant. So as we all know, we need to go to templates, branches, feature, content components, highlights, and here is my variant that I need to create. Now, for, for testing or for development purposes, I don't usually create it here, I just create it on the site to make sure it's done correctly and then I'll copy it back into there. So I'll go to my site here and then within the highlights default, I'll create my container. So I have a main container within it something called the video wrapper which my um, my front-end team has created for me so I'm actually just copying from what my front-end team has created for me so they've created this component that I'm just recreating within my rendering variant so I have a video wrapper within the video wrapper I have a video wrapper content and another video wrapper and video overlay and background image wrapper. The idea here is to enable either a video or an image to be in the background. Now, one of the really nice things that we can do here is because I wanted this image to be a background image, yet I wanted to read from an actual field, which is the background image, I can just add it as a data attribute. So within this div, I can just add a style and then this style has a background URL and as you can see, the dollar sign, then background image, tells it that it should read this value from one of the data source fields, which is called background image. And then I have my search, which is the hero search. It has the subtitle, the title, and of course the search box. Now the search box is really interesting because let's actually delete this and re-add it again, just to show you how it's done. So I'll right click here, insert, and this is something new in SXA 1.8 where I can add a component here. So I'll choose this component to be search box. I'll just push it to the bottom. And then I'll configure my rendering item. So I'll just choose feature. Feature, Experience Accelerator, and then Search, and then the Search box. Now you need to save for the rendering parameters to be able to configure it, so I'll just save it. Click on Configure to start configuring it. So I want to have this data source, I'll just browse and put the default data source. And I can configure all the rendering parameters. So I want to have a scope, 
and I want my search results page to be page one. I want to show the search uh, result or search text box, and I'm done here. So there you have it. I've just created the highlights, which consists of a search box. And then I have other items that I've created as part of my highlights. Now that we've created the full highlights as we've seen here, next thing to do is I'm actually going to drag it and drop it within my page. So I'll go to my main here. Actually, I have two columns for some reason here, but I'll, I'll put the highlights on top of these. So as you can see here, I'll just drag it and drop it. And I've created the highlights here, so I'll just use that one. It's just some data I've pre-filled. And as you can see, it's created now with all the items I have. So it has the search box, it has the, uh, the title and subtitle. And I can edit it here very easily. Now, the very nice thing about this capability or the way we've structured this is we can also personalize it. So I can say, for example, if the persona is different, maybe I'll have another one based on the profile key. I'll just say that where the current visit matches the specific pattern card and the specific profile, I'll just choose any of them. And my specific pattern card is general public. So I'm saying now if it's general public and I'll change all the data here. So in this scenario, let's say it's, it's called general public. We'll just change the content to something else so I can have a completely different image. I can have a completely different uh, information written there. Now that I've created it, let's actually save, publish, as soon as I've published it, I can actually open up my browser to see how it looks like. So there you have it. I now have this search box and this title with a background image all created into a single component which content editors can easily drag and drop.